adventure over, Tarzan returned to his house in the jungle with his friends, cheated the chimp, <laughs> and Simba the lion, <laughs> and his beautiful wife, Jane. Welcome back, you big ape. <laughs> As Jane and Cheetah kissed him, Tarzan let out a cry of happiness. <laughs> And yeah. thank you, Vicky. That was a very entertaining book report. Well, it looks like everybody but Jamie and Reggie have reached their reading goals in the book it program this month. And as soon as they do the reports, the entire class will be rewarded by a big pizza party from Pizza Hut. Yeah. Yeah. However, the idea behind the book it program is for everyone in class to read books. And if Jamie and Reggie's reports aren't in by the deadline tomorrow, then the party's off. Aww. Hey, I've only got ten more pages to read. I'll be ready. Yeah. yeah. Will you be ready too, Jamie? Yeah, sure. Good. Okay, see you tomorrow, class. Hey, Jamie, you better have that report ready by tomorrow, or you're dead meat around here. Don't worry, I've got one little thing left to do. Yeah? What's that? Read a book. <laughs> Okay, Vicky, stand right there. Okay. Now flap your arms real fast and fly. <laughs> Great. Everyone will think I'm a genius at special effects. Okay, come on down. If I should see what I think I saw. Uh, what do you think he saw? Vicky hovering in the air like a hummingbird. Oh, uh, that's great. It's an illusion. A special effect with my camera. I'm practicing to be a famous director like Steven Spielberg. Oh, then we'll be famous together, Jamie. I'm going to be a movie star. My drama teacher in school said I can make people believe I'm any character I play. And how about playing the invisible woman? <laughs> Amy Lawson. You're so mean to me. You always put me down and you make me feel like I'm nothing. <laughs> yeah. They didn't mean it. Come on, stop crying. I'm sorry. Ride a dress, dad's your next victim. Ready? Action. <laughs> I want to suck your blood. Uh, no problem in a minute, Vicky. Why are you fooling around with that camera? Mom says you're supposed to be reading a book for a report tomorrow. Great emotion. Give me more. You want more? I'll give you more. You want to know where? <laughs> Jamie, your class is depending on you to read a book. I know, but books are boring. Well, that depends on what kind of book you read. A book, Jamie, can let you use your imagination. 
It can take you any place in the world. It can take you into the future, into the past. It can let you be part of an exciting adventure. And it doesn't have commercials. <laughs> Besides, if you don't read a book, no pizza party in class. Now, you don't want to blow that, do you? No. Then you can take Vicky to the party. Ah, Dad, I have to take Vicky everywhere. The guys in class will think I can't get a real date. Besides, she's a robot. She won't care if she has to stay home. Jimmy Lawson, you're so mean to me. You always put me down. You make me feel like I'm nothing. I can't believe it. She's, she's actually showing a human emotion. Fooled you, didn't I? Good morning, class. Good morning, Lawson. Now, today we're going to hear the last two book reports in our Book It program. And first up is Reggie Williams, who's going to give a report to us on his book, Robin Hood. You ready, Reggie? Uh, Mrs. Lawson, you said we can do our report any way we like, right? Right. Okay, I'm ready. Ladies? <laughs> Hit it. A long time ago and way back when, there's a dude named Robin and his merry men. Sure, what force was their path? They did good by being back. Being bad, being bad. They did good by being bad. Good old John Will Scarlet too. We're part of Robin's wrecking crew. Robin Hood, he was cool. Mess with him and I pity the fool. Pity the fool, pity the fool. Mess with him and I pity the fool. With this fox made Mary Ann and no fried tuck. His John and the sheriff tried real hard, but they were out of luck. Robin Hood and the days of York robbed from the rich and gave to the poor. Gave to the poor. Gave to the poor. That's our story. There ain't no more. All right. Thank you, Reggie. That was really, uh, groovy. <laughs> well, one more book report to go and you'll get your big pizza party. Yeah! You ready, Jamie? Yeah, sure. report is on Moby Dick. This is a story about a guy who chases a big fish. And when he catches the big fish, the big fish kills him. The party! Yeah! Hey, you hold it right there. That's a pretty skimpy report. I'd like to ask you some questions about the book. Questions? Yeah. Uh, like, uh, what was the name of the captain who was chasing the big fish? <laughs> uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Well, what about the name Herman Melville? Nope, doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> what about the big fish? What was its name? Trick question. We all know fish don't have names. <laughs> Jamie, you don't know the author's name, the captain's name, or the whale's name. Would you like to tell me why? I'm not good with names. <laughs> I think it's pretty clear that you didn't read the book, Jamie. Take your seat. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Jamie, because you were not going to have a party. Yeah. Class, class, come to order. I know you're all very disappointed. You've all worked very hard. So I'll tell you what. I'll extend the deadline and give Jamie the weekend to read his last book. And if he comes through on Monday, then you'll still get your party. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Read a book, we get a treat, no report, and you're dead meat. <laughs> Small Wonder will return after these messages. Okay, Vicky, go over to Dad's chair and lift it. It'll look like a terrific special effect. <laughs> What's going on? It's for my special effects reel, Dad. No, Vicky, put him down immediately. Immediately. <laughs> Jamie, what are you doing playing director instead of reading a book for class? Hey, Jamie, why is it so tough to get you to read a book? I mean, a mantle over there is full of good ones. Uh, none of them sound interesting. You can read any book you like. All right, how about my book? It's got excitement, mystery, intrigue. I don't know. Beautiful women. Beautiful women? You got him. <laughs> What's it about, Dad? 
Well, it's about this private eye named Rick Savage who gets involved in this really tricky case. What kind of case? Well, one day, this blonde bombshell walks into his office and says, somebody's trying to kill me. And then what? Well, later that night, Savage goes into the nightclub to hear the girl sing, see? <laughs> and then right in the middle of her performance, she... Wait a minute. You're trying to get me to tell you the whole story so you don't have to read the book, right? Hey, it was worth a shot. <laughs> okay, Dad, I'll read your book. Oh, that's better, Jamie. I mean, the class would get really mad at you if they lost that pizza party because you didn't give your book report. Some party? I have to take my own sister. Hey, you should be proud to take Vicky. Oh, she'll look adorable. Well, I'll get you that cute little dress that we saw in the budget store, Vicky. How about getting me that designer original we saw in Gucci's? Gucci's? Hey, it was worth the shot. <laughs> Boy, this private eye savage is really macho. Hey, saw the light under the door. It's after midnight. Why are you awake? I guess I lost track of time, Dad. Your book is so interesting, I can't put it down. It just goes to show you, reading can be fun. Yeah, and it'll make a great book report. We said we could give our reports any way we want, right? As long as it shows that you've read it from cover to cover. That's where I got the idea for it. From the cover. It says soon to be a major motion picture. And it's going to be sooner than they think. The book I read was Rick Savage, Private Eye by Richard Leslie Johnson. And this is my report. had a case in months. But here in River City, I didn't go looking for trouble. Trouble had a way of finding me. It's open. <laughs> Are you savage? Only until I've had my morning coffee. <laughs> What's your moniker? My moniker's Monica. Monica Minchkoff, but my friends call me Trouble. <laughs> I was right. I had trouble right here in River City. <laughs> what seems to be the trouble? Trouble? <laughs> it's my husband, Feltman. <laughs> I think he's trying to kill me. What makes you think so, dollface? This. Dear Monica, I'm gonna kill you. Sincerely, <laughs> F. This could be a death threat, all right. <laughs> what do you want me to do about it, gorgeous? I want to hire you. That'll be 200 bucks. To keep me alive. In advance. <laughs> I'm good, but I'm not stupid. <laughs> Monica told me to meet her at the Torchlight Club, where she worked as a torch singer. She figured her husband wanted to bump her off because she was carrying a torch for an old flame. An arsonist named Tommy the Torch. If you ask me, the woman was playing with fire. He's savage. Well, if it ain't good old Lieutenant Franklin. <laughs> You're right, it ain't. It's Lieutenant Farmer. <laughs> what you doing here, Seamus? I'm on a case. Flat foot. Watch your gumshoe. Or I'll pull your license, punch your ticket, and clean your clock. <laughs> I got the feeling he didn't like me. <laughs> Hi, you savage. Well, if it ain't my favorite waitress. How you doing, Francine? <laughs> I wish you had a name that begins with an F. <laughs> what can I get you, savage? The usual. Oh, hey. <laughs> the food 
here stinks, but the service is incredible. <laughs> Not now, Toots. I'm on a kick. Savage. That guy over there gives me the creep. I think he's up to no good. What makes you think so, gorgeous? Put in here an hour, and so far, all we've ordered is a butcher knife. <laughs> Don't worry, babes. I'll check it out. Hey, buddy. You mind telling me who you are? The name's Mitch. <laughs> Mitch. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to be married to a songbird named Monica. Yeah. Till death do us part. <laughs> Better grab a seat, honey. Monica's about to do a number. And don't forget, sweetness. This place closes at one. My place opens at two. <laughs> I figured I'd better keep one eye on Monica and one eye on Felton. With Felton. I'm keeping both eyes on Monica. <laughs> Play it again, Sam. She's dead, especially in show business. <laughs> He's looking at you, kid. You and you, take the body out. <laughs> All right, now, nobody leave the room. Everyone here's a suspect. Everyone but me. Rick Savage, private eye. <laughs> Monica gave me a death threat letter she got. Signed, F. So? That means you're a suspect, too, Lieutenant Farmer. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I'm a cop. Well, then, maybe it was her husband. Why'd you do it, Kelton? <laughs> I didn't kill her. I loved her. See, I bring carved on initials on the table with this butcher knife. <laughs> well, well, then, maybe... It was Francine. <laughs> Don't be a silly savage. I was in the kitchen when Monica bought the farm. I got ten busboys who will swear to it. Ten? It's a slow night. <laughs> hey, look. It's Monica. Well, I'm Monica's twin sister from Savannah. She told me to meet her here tonight. <laughs> I'm afraid you're a little late, sis. Monica just cashed in her chip. Oh, no! <laughs> there, there, gorgeous. By the way, you got a name? I'm Veronica. Well, that starts with a V. You're not a suspect. But my friends call me... Farm. As I looked into each of their faces, Farmer, Francine, Felton, Fawn, I suddenly knew who the killer was. Savage has solved another case. Just can't.
can't leave us hanging like that. Who does it? Y'all really want to know who done it? Yes. yes. Gonna have to read the book. <laughs> Good point, Jamie. That's what the Book It program's all about. Getting students to read. And now that everyone has reached their reading goal, the pizza party is on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now this is gonna be a great party. Yeah, sure. I gotta take my own sister. No, you don't. I already have a date. Oh, yeah, with who? Phil. <laughs> You may.